All right. So, um, okay, in there, um, two hundred dollars worth of shit, and then you have a chemical acetylene torch for underwater. I'm sure they cost more than two hundred dollars, but we'll go with that for now. And Alex, give me a welding roll, please. Um, are we even. Do we not even want to start by breaching the fact that even if we can get the dock in, everything in there is probably going to have cameras on it? Well, also, uh, except for some of the smaller robots, nothing will go out the way you came in. I don't know if that matters to you, but I thought I'd point it out. Just the smaller robot. Like, you can, some of the little scurrier robots, you know, whatever the you know, you probably get those to fit down the fucking narrow ass thing you came out of. But no, but I'm just saying, like, you know, we don't want to. Do we want to blow if we go in now and they do catch us somehow on, on one of the cameras and one of the robots, then they're now alerted to the fact that there are people trying to break into us and they might step up the security. I'm just wondering that's a good point if it's worth us risking this now. Until we until we know like until we've got other things in place because we still have okay. so many things we've got to do that we haven't even attempted yet like finding a place to move these guys to and getting transport and stuff like that. But we also don't know like this is more to go in, be super sneaky, and then get out super sneaky so that way we can see what all's in there, what they're doing. If there's a way that maybe we can like uh, get into the system to find out what's going on. Um, we need to know all this other stuff to even make a facility. So cool. otherwise we're, we're just making, uh, like we're making plans for something that doesn't matter. Yeah. Another thing yeah. is if we do get caught and they decide that they want to move them or up the security, well, yeah, up the security sucks, sure. And that's gonna, just going to make it a harder target. However, if we end up... Uh, if they end up seeing us and then maybe moving everybody, that's another way that we can try to get them back as well as while they're moving them. Mm. It'd be easy. That'd be an easier target than to hit this target actually, or just a different way. Cause they'd probably be taking them to a more secure place. Different country. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, uh, Mac, please give me a contortions of plus 20 to be able to leave the way you came in, i.e. the chemical drain, as opposed to being stuck there for the rest of your life. Yes. He can roll an odd eight, Chris. Why can't you roll odd eight? Um, okay, well, I can at least get it ready for you to come in. And I guess you're just going in with your um, camo suit, will you? Another thing we could do is that I could give you... Camera to record everything? <laughs> well, actually, now think about this, though. I give him a camera, like I give him a, a box that has a camera on it that can move. I cover it in foil, like I put it into like a into a bo another box full of foil. So he just gets there, goes to this room, opens the lid, and then gets the hell away from it because it's electronic. Oh, I see what you mean. I but see what you mean. Like a bomb. It's like a bomb, but instead of an explosion, it goes surprise with a camera. Right. Interesting. So that way, I don't need to get in there to see everything, and you can just mm -hmm. take a camera in there, and I don't have to try to die by drinking water in my lungs. Because I, I know that's what's going to happen if I try to get in there. Oh, we're all convinced you're going to fucking die from it. But that's not the important part right now. <laughs> the important part is installing the new gills. Um, Ooh, cyber gills. Oh, shit, yeah. There you go, Chris. I'll just install some cyber gills on myself and be all good to go. Sure. Do you want to do that? No, thank you. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. So I, I make this box, and uh, I 
It has to be pretty small because he had to contort into the place. So it has to Cameras be a fairly small, small nowadays, as right now. So a camera for there is nothing. That'll be easy to do. I can well, make it's, the, the it's, the, it's the pop-up jack-in-the-box thing. Plus, you need the crank and the music box. I can do that. Um, That's fine. But you, okay, so let me get this straight. If I'm understanding you correctly, it, he'd bring in a foil-covered box, place it down, get away, and then uh, open it so that you get a signal, and then the camera would pop up, and you'd have basically a stationary camera there. No, I, it would be a bubble cam so that I could look around with it remotely. Right, okay, so you have a you have a stationary camera that can do a arc. No, like, you know, the, those bubble cams, they don't just do arcs. They, I can buy a, I can buy a webcam that looks all over. Up oh, there. sure, okay, but I mean, it's from one fixed location. You can oh, see yeah. shit close to your demon box. Yeah. Jared? Wouldn't this just be easier to get one of the old bloody demon god drones to go in there? It's small. It can fit up there. It can walk around. Probably not really being seen because it might look like one of the other bloody robots in there. And then I don't have to go contorting again and possibly get stuck in a hole while I'll die. Okay. I'll go talk to it. Yay! You have an address. You can be like, we need to infiltrate this place. Here is the way well, in. No, I was going to say that you would need to go in there with a box. You would still need to go in there and deliver a couple of them. What? Can't they build swimmy ones? No, uh, it'll be in a box, and then you just have to go in there, open the box, and run. Just like, and then run. And then they'll go crawling on in and check it all out. <sighs> It'll oh. be okay. They'll be in a foil box and you won't need to see them or touch them. It's the thought of doing it that's cringy. But you can do it. I believe in you. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> Are you sure you wouldn't let him just drown instead, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> so I go back to base and I get... I... I, I uh, Indigo. Greetings. I am happy to see you again. You have forgotten to bring metal. Our agreement was for metal. I'll bring you three loads of metal after this. Okay. Um, I need two small robots that have camera cameras on them that can go and look through a room that has a lot of uh, electronics and other robots in them as well. And if you wanted, you could also make them maybe be able to take over some of the robots for yourself. I will provide you semi-autonomous drones. I do not wish to reveal too much science knowledge at this time until I know it is a secure location. Okay. Right. Um, you get six drones and a controller. They're pretty compact. They roll up into metal balls and stuff. Okay. And a controller. The metal balls don't even look scary maybe to Alex unless he thinks that they're drones, in which case... He does own a nutcracker, I'm afraid, and he may try to get in there to see if they're evil and stop their tyranny. Okay. So I'll also make the camera box a quick, too. All right. Shows you a tinfoil tape, a little bit of glitter. And I'm going to make the pop-up camera just in case I can't pilot the drones because... I can't pilot drones, so, you know. Well, it, they are semi-autonomous, though. Okay. Well, Whatever the fuck that means. I will... mm -hmm. It shows you give a big box and 
did you want to make it say his name in glitter or anything nice like that or no? No, that's okay. Yeah. So, right, he gives you a big tinfoil covered demon box, Alex. Mm. You can feel something writhe around inside. Yeah. I believe in you. You can do this. I'm going now. I don't want to wait around. I'm going to get rid of this horrible box. Is the box made of cardboard or what? Plastic. Oh, got it. Waterproof. Got it. Just curious. It's actually just a big paper envelope with foil on it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's my favorite. All right. So, I mean, giving him a hefty bag would have been better than a actually, cardboard box. <laughs> a hefty bag is about as cheap and easy as your hefty bags are. Go, go. Right, Alex, give me a swimming roll at negative five due to demon box. He just sinks to the bottom and lays there like he's dead, but you can still see him breathing. And negative five, nice. <laughs> he just lays there. He's apparently, um, the demons have overwhelmed him. If he had to I, breathe, he I would die up, by I now. pick up the box and just start walking along the bottom. Okay. It's going to take him a lot longer. He just, he's in a sulk, you're thinking, Doc. That's fine. <laughs> it's hard to swim with a big fucking box. <laughs> you're wishing you had a weight belt or something now, because every time you, you start to walk, you kind of float, and then you... Yeah, and it's like, hey. Doing my Highlander impression. All right. So, oh, 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 oh. right. Eventually, you get back to uh, uh, the thing hmm, box. <laughs> you get through and. Uh, Right, you're, you're trying to walk, but you kind of need to swim because your fins and stuff through the tunnel, especially the up part, you can't walk up can't the water. Way off the floor and up. Right, uh, yeah, that, that works for a little while, but as I said before, it is a long tunnel up, so I am going to need a swimming roll at negative five demons. Yeah. Oh, I thought you got an R66. I was like, he's fucked. All right, you get up. And you push out the box. Now, unless you want to go out, you're okay. You don't need to make contortions roll. But if you want to go out, you're going to have to. Or you just push demon box out. Oh, yeah, I'm pushing, I'm just pushing out. Eh, okay, I'm not, it's I'm, out. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I can't. I, the, the place, like you said, is covered in wires and electricity. Yeah. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. But, I mean, okay, but when I was out, when I did go out quickly. Right. This, you, this storm drain, you said, was a bit kind of out of the way. So it wouldn't. It's not oh, yeah. that there's no, no, no. There. Well, that the box is there, maybe. It might be better to empty it out and then put it back with you and let it sink to the bottom of your fucking flotsam and jetsam thing. Can I do that from where I'm at? Yeah, yes, yes, right. I'll just open up the boxes and then kind of tip them onto the... Chris. Well, not tip, no, okay. The, the one with the box inside, I will place gently on there. The ones with the two ball demon balls, I just tip them on. Not like throw them out. Right, right, them yeah. Shows, shows like crazy camera pictures and shit. No, I told you the small. Well, yeah, okay. Well, those things, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, he's got a split screen with six different things. But if if his if his photo box is left there, it might be discovered or shit. Well, anywhere um, I put it, it's going to be discovered. Right. Well, plus the robots may do something with it. They're always fucking out to fuck you. I can't do anything about that. Chop up some of them. I'll fucking teach the rest. Maybe it's, a, it's just it's a like, sword wave. Nightmare fucking in there. Yep. Okay. So you want to leave the you want to leave the picture box in there though, even though it may be discovered. Well, where else can I put it? Uh, there's nowhere good. Any, anywhere that I go. Unless you want to get out, and then you can try to hide it behind some machinery. So know, it's not if it's hidden behind something, it's not mm -hmm. going to be a good shot, is it? No. No, the picture box is a really horrible idea, but it's as good as you got. Why don't you just have it? Why can't Chris 
Sorry. Well, I'm going to try to use the drones, yeah. and then I'll okay. let you know if use they're drones. working or not. Okay, so you're you're drones. hanging out with your head underwater. Got it. Okay, Chris, give me drone number one of five. Okay, hold on. Uh, I don't have any. We have no card. Actually, you each have one card. Yeah, the mic's clueless. <laughs> oh. Number one. No. Not bad, though. Good start. Uh, uh, uh. No problem. Two, it crawls into a fucking... Three. Uh, four. Five. Nope. <laughs> nope. All right. Yeah, the drones have all crawled off to go live more rewarding lives somewhere else. Okay. okay. Well, I, I, I'll radio back and say, look, the box is in where I can get it without having to go out into the actual place. Mm -hmm. If you want to activate your demon box and do what you want to do now. I'll then... activate the camera so I can look around. Honestly, if, he's, if he's done and he's happy with what he sees, then I can then grab it and Okay. Um, yeah, you look around. Uh, great. Lots of different kinds of robots. Amazing numbers of fucking big, creepy ass uh, um, uh, pods. Um, I'm not sure what you're looking for in here. Well, All the robots are very busy doing stuff. Lots of electricity. Well, now that we have a closer view, do we see anything else about the coffins themselves or like what kind of power is needed for each of them since we do, since we need to remake these somewhere else? I get you. Um, you're, you're definitely going to need super heavy duty power cables. Um, if you, it'd be um, a major, major bundle of them would go through. Say, I don't know, for 8,000 or whatever, car size, car size bundle of electrical cables. All right. Um, plus various other cables for shit, goo, etc. But Wi Fi, Wi Fi is much smaller. They use like something better than glass and shit. So I really don't learn anything else from being, from getting any of this. I uh, you 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 take pictures to analyze later, but uh, you get the name. You now know all the name brands of all the robots. Uh, you're gonna guess that you could probably buy a lot of them commercially, but um, what kind of programming they have and stuff. If you could have Alex maybe uh, download their programs and stuff. Oh no. Anyway, um. What about cameras have, from here? Do they have any? Oh sure. Give me a uh, give me a spot roll for that. No. Uh, you can analyze the recordings later. I'm sure you're recording it. Okay. So, yeah. 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 You're really super happy you didn't scuba dive in here. You get to live. Yay. Live. So, yeah. There you go. You've gotten a good 10 minutes of recording, unless you want longer. Every minute he's down there, though. The window to fuckery opens. <clears throat> Give me a moment. Alex, give me a listen roll. Yes. You hear some stuff skittering toward you. Sounds like it's crawling around toward you fast. Uh, I hear something. It sounds metallic on stone. Mm. Getting closer. Isn't he underwater, though? Yeah. Oh, he is. But he's hearing up there a little bit. Not from down it's, it's from above not below below would be more scary above is still scary but it's below more scary this is guessing distance uh yeah i dropped down i guess okay i 
drop down, but keep an eye on what comes to the hole. No problem. You're down, looking up. Eventually, the noise is really super low, and then everything stops. You don't see anything. Does Chris see any of this, being that he's got a camera sitting right there? Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, Chris, <laughs> give me a spot hidden roll at full to notice stuff. I'm hoping it's Chris's fucking he's coming back. Got it. You had to look up a seven? No, no I wanted no. to see if it was a crit or not. Oh, okay. I was like, you have no confidence in your skills anymore. You've been you've been wrecked. No, all these semi-autonomous drones have come back and skittered into the uh, camera box. Okay. For whatever reason. Even though we fucking piece this together like so horribly, it's actually worked out quite well. It's better that they're in the camera box than if they wanted to cling to Alex so he could take them out. Why don't <laughs> Can you, you imagine? Grab the box and leave. Okay. It's a little heavier than it was before, Matt. Mm. Well, no, the whole box I took was with them and the other. Oh, one. then that's fine. Um, I get back up. I put the uh, close up the box so it's sealed again. Mm -hmm. I grab it from where Matt might have a hole and then pull it back through and then just drop down. Is there anything else you want to do while you are up there? Well, I close the grate. Oh, there you go. I'll give you a card for that. I thought you were going to leave it open just so you could try to cue off the bad know, guys. I don't know if I'd just taken it off the hinge or if it was just open. Either way, I'd still close it. Yeah. All right. No problem. Done. You, uh, you and your box of uh, demonness, you can feel it trying to electrocute you through the water. <laughs> it's not not a happy thing for you. But eventually, uh, give me a simple swim roll to leave that place and go to a different place. Yes. Thank goodness. Right. You managed to uh, eventually swim back to. Uh, duck who is looking about as happy as if he had a lemon and was given an enema. Yay! <laughs> Demon box. <laughs> All right. Um, I take the drones out. Did the drones learn any? Like, did the drones record things? Uh, you, you check them out and stuff? Uh, yeah, they, they got a lot of weird, scurry flashes of stuff. It'll take a while to, to analyze it, but yes, they were trying to record. They were trying to be helpful, but they're just dumb. Okay, well, we'll piece together what all, all the information that we may have. You have, have all the brand names. You know, eventually, uh, cut to back at the lair. Um, it, what what's happened is it there's now a new tunnel that says Alex Kinley, all one word, and it's like a little side tunnel. It's big enough for a person. There's murder holes and stuff in the ceiling, but it <laughs> takes you it takes you along the <coughs> corridor to your room. What? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's a little separate way to go to just your room with all of your fucking torches and lanterns and stuff. Apparently, it's freshly dug. So well, the first thing I'm doing is filling in the motor holes. They're above you, though. It's tricky. It's not. You'd have to put stuff in there and make it stick. Yeah. Into My the solid really rock. Metal. That's a really good idea. No problem. Uh, yep, yep. Your your deity is happy with you. You drop off the metal. You analyze the stuff. You know about these seventeen different kinds of robots that are used in this place. And uh, give me a, a robotics roll to know some extra detailed. Uh, yeah, great. So, oh, give me a research role to look them up each one at a time and read up on them on the internet. Yeah, not so. even listed. Mm. It's not mm. a fumble, it's a fail. Yeah. Mm. You, you can't actually find the same models that they have. You can find something kind of close. 
I'll try again at half. Okay. Are you yeah. fucking kidding me? No. That's no a fumble. <laughs> nice. Yes. They no longer make any of the robots that are currently being used there. They're okay. they're all obsolete models that do mysterious shit. But okay. there you go. So, Alex, what do you want to do? Hmm. He asked the guy, he chose Alex holding a torch in one hand and a bottle of whiskey in the other. Want to go knock over a 7-Eleven for fun? I'm about <laughs> right there. <laughs> well, um, like I said, I wouldn't mind um, kind of, uh, brainstorming and then potentially trying to find a good new location to store these things eventually. Even if it's just like, you know, a rough idea, not not necessarily a particular building, but like where should we where would be a good place to move these guys to where they will be safe and happy for ever. Well, that's rather easy. It's just looking for a warehouse that's the same size as the one that they're in right now that can handle that kind of power. So it needs to be near a decent amount of power. Um I don't suppose the warehouse that the gates in would be big enough to house all these, would it? Uh, no, but uh, give me evidence analysis rolls. Make them fucking sexy, not just I made it. Make them sexy. I made it, but not that's, sexy. That's pretty sexy. That's pretty sexy. That's like a quarter. Yeah, okay, I'm good with that. That's 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 in the sexy range. You're thinking, Alex, that you were able to find those things here other people could if you could get them off this world and have them secure that would be better fuck off what how the hell are you gonna get i mean not to mention another world that we take these to might not have the infrastructure to be able to sustain them oh wouldn't it? Are you trying to say that you want us to try and get these? Oh, no. I'm just telling you that if you move them, then you were able to find them. Uh, despite other people trying to hide this, they could do the same to you. And this is a horrible world. But if you could get them off world, then you could make them safe. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. All right. Well, we only know about one gate so far that goes from this place, and that's to Burlington. I know, and that would be. Burlington has plenty of electricity. It does. It's pretty safe, but. It's how super the hell, safe. How the hell do you move 5,000? mini bus size things through a vault in a bank. Mm. Mm. Yeah. You can do that. Right. Without without the G men being alerted. I didn't say you wouldn't have to do some interesting shit, but could that's be actually done. rather easy. Because if you go to Burlington and because the day resets every day, right? It's a daily reset. That's true. That's actually really handy. Because if you did, get you know? There, did you scout was... out the police station completely? Kind of. Okay, so in the police station where the four guards are, yeah. there's a room that has a a box yeah. that you can throw things. Did you did you see the the room that you throw things in that disappears forever? Yeah, they dispose of bodies and stuff in there. We went on a bit of a murder rampage, and that's where they dumped the bodies. <laughs> Well, that's where the phone is that they get a hold of others. So if you get rid yeah. of that phone, they're screwed for the day at least. Uh, and there's only four guards on them and then the and then the deputies and the deputy and the sheriff. Everybody else is just scared background people. I think yeah, those well, are the ones that matter. Once so that once they're in there and in a secure location, then the reset they would actually be really handy because theoretically any goo or anything that was made that morning would like milk. It would be like, Bring. so then we wouldn't have to 
Yeah. It depends on maybe if we, if you alter the reality of that reality by putting that much technology in it, it might change. You lost me. <laughs> Doc, pull in the cart. <laughs> no, but really, I mean, like, look oh at my the God, and it's easy to build the facilities because we just tell them what we want and they'll charge it to our room. Where yeah, there's no but, money. You know what? Last time, what we did was we built this big um, trebuchet. Um, we built a big trebuchet that we used to fire an, an old man into the the um, whirlpool to test it out to see if it was a gate or not. <laughs> and um, and by the time we got back, that had been dismantled. So that's the only problem with Burlington is if they know about it, they will knock it down. Which is why we just make it like, oh, we're making a warehouse of this kind here. Or, oh, we're thinking about building a boat, a, a dry dock. Because you it can put be, it up by the water. And uh, it, would, it would be kind of probably better, actually, to put it in an existing, if, an existing structure that wouldn't be, uh, that, that is not, um, that no one goes to. Because then nothing changes and they won't try and change it back. But I'm not sure if there was anything in Burlington that could house that that much. Not that many people, no, I don't think. No. I mean, there was a couple stores, but that's uh, not enough. Actually, the biggest, the biggest things there were the office, the office and the and the school. But <laughs> they were both populated, so during the day. So unless there's a massive basement underneath the office. That's how we get all these things in as well. It's, it's so many. Uh, actually, the three, uh, three or four empty buildings in total. Yeah, you can do it. Really? Yeah. 5,000 minibuses. Yeah, well, like I said, using all of the empty buildings, yeah. Possibly if you were to go, uh, uh, you could even maybe if you needed to, if you had overflow, hide some in homes and shit. I don't think that's really safe, is it? <laughs> no, well, you know, hide people you don't like in those. Uh, but no, the, the you're thinking that the uh, empty buildings and stuff in total, not just one empty building, but using all of them, that may work. It might take a little lubrication, but nothing faster than a greased Scotsman. Okay. Of course, pulling this off. It's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculously hard. It's, it's, it's street, I mean, it's, it's just not, you know. I mean, it's bad enough when I thought we had to take them from one place here to another, but. Taking 5,000 minibuses through a magical gate that leads into a bank. It's just crazy. My brain hurts. Yeah, well, I was going to give you guys a chance to do any more talking and stuff, or at least laying out more problems before we end it for tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I think my brain's shot. I think I need to think on this. Chris is looking like he wants to go and punch a puppy. We've a, I mean, we both we both had tough on roll twenty today, but Chris extra fucking tough. Oh yeah, roll twenty fucking loves him. Ninety five, ninety five. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything else you can think of that you want to go over before we wrap it up for tonight? No. Not in a couple of minutes. No. All right, let's wrap it up and we'll, um, we'll think on it. 